Inside the childhood homes of Jackie Kennedy Onassis, Hammersmith, Lasada, and Marywood. Marywood Estate was built in 1919 in McLean, Virginia. It is a Georgian-style mansion that encompasses 23,000 square feet and sits on over 7 acres with sweeping views of the Potomac River. Jackie moved to Marywood in the 1940s after her mother married a Standard Oil heir, Hugh D. Archenclaus. Jackie was just 13 years old when she arrived at the estate. Spending her free time horseback riding, swimming, and playing tennis on the estate's grounds. Jackie had stated, upon reflection of her time there, I always loved it so at Marywood, so peaceful with the river and those great steep hills. Her mother was well known for the lavish parties she hosted at the estate, earning her the title of Mistress of Marywood. Stepping into the foyer of the home, you're greeted by a stunning entryway that opens up to a beautiful and lively space filled with light and lovely feminine details. Along the back of the home, there is a long hallway that almost expands the entire length of the home. It is here that the area is flanked with seven floor-to-ceiling French glass doors that open onto the backyard's patio. Back inside, the drawing room was used for formal entertaining. Light from the front-facing windows pours into the room, creating a warm and inviting atmosphere. By day or by night, this room has exceptional details which are highlighted by the color scheme. Over the years, the interior design has changed drastically with new owners and different decades. The current designs are by Barry Dixon. In the dining room, the light and warm color scheme continues over. The simple geometric and architectural elements of the room take center stage with their understated beauty. In the den slash library, there is a cozy and warm undertone in the room. Oak paneling surrounds Chesterfield sofas. As the fireplace stands central in the room, there are bookcases on either side of it, along with additional bookcases on the adjacent wall. It is from this room that you enter into the sunken living room. The wrought iron balustrades and travertine steps help you descend into the beautiful and bright room. The space has a total of eight floor-to-ceiling windows and six French doors. The kitchen is open concept with a large range and an enormous island. The style is modern farmhouse and adjacent to this room is a family room.
The home has nine bedrooms and 11 full baths. The master suite has his and hers dressing rooms, a private study, and even an exercise room. The grounds contained a pool along with a pool house, a stable, tennis courts, and a variety of other amenities. The vast amounts of land on the property allowed for many parties to take place. The many gardens and vistas created an immensely beautiful background for entertaining. Lasada was built in 1917, constructed with a gray stucco facade. Its name means place of peace, as it is a Native American name. The house stands on 12 acres of land right near the Atlantic Ocean's coastline. It was Jackie's paternal grandmother who bought the home, and from the 1930s onward, the family would holiday every summer at Lasada. The home's interior design has changed drastically over the years, today standing modern and contemporary. Although many of the original architectural interior features of the home still stand, the cold and bland of furnishings take away from what once were beautiful and well-suited interior designed spaces. Hammersmith Farm is a Victorian mansion that was built in 1887 for John W. Archenclos, the great-grandfather of Hugh D. Archenclos. The home stands in Newport, Rhode Island, and today is open for public tours and special events. The interiors of the home are cozy and welcoming and are mostly done in the Georgian style. The home sports incredible views and the majority of the rooms have floor to ceiling windows or doors to take in the expansive scenery. There was an abundance of bedrooms and the majority housed English antique furnishings, each one done in a unique and different style, keeping it cozy and comfortable. It was here on September 12th, 1953, that the now Jacqueline Bouvier Kennedy held her wedding reception. The wedding was known as the social event of the season, and more than 400 guests were invited. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Please let me know in the comments which home was your favorite and why. See you in the next video.